Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This week's video is a bullet journal plan with me for college students. So if you're currently in college, university or school, then this is the video for you. First up is just a simple cover page. Since I'm going into second year in university, I just wanted to separate this section of my bullet journal from my own personal section. lasts about three months so this is going to fit September, November and December on these two pages. Will see what class I have, and then right next to it will be the professor, their office hours, email, etc. And it's very handy to just have this very close together instead of having to keep flip through the bullet journal trying to find where that one professor's email is. Next up is a general homework page. Um, for a lot of my classes, I have long term assignments, but I am studying languages and that does tend to be homework that needs to be in for the next day. So this is a pretty large section to fit in homework. Um, it's split down the middle of the page and it has one column for what class it's for and the second column is for what I actually have to do. Um, since it is usually due the next day, I don't add a due date, but of course if you want to, that would be easy to add in just the third column. page which does take up the full page and um, I have three columns, one for my class, one for the assignment, the task I actually have to do and the third for my grade as the majority of my assignments do contribute some percentage to my final overall mark and this is a very easy way to just keep track of them all and see where I'm at. is just a single page as a grade tracker to keep track of every single one of my results on the one page and also a library tracker to keep track of the books that I take from my college library when they're returned and when they're due. Then it's my test tracker keeping track of 
what tests I have on what subjects and what's going to be included and I've left the right page blank in order to add more details for my finals later on. Then it is on to my study schedule which I recommend everyone at least needs to do a rough draft of this because I find it very helpful just to see what classes I have, how much hours I need to study for them and when I actually can study. So this is a very rough timetable that I will fill in later and it will just show me my free hours and when I can schedule in time to study. Then it's on to my class syllabi and each class I take I dedicate to half a page and this is where I write down my learning objectives, assignment details and professor information. And that is it for this week's video. Here's a quick overview after adding in some minor highlighting details with a blue mod liner. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. And as usual, if you have any ideas, comment down below because I update every two weeks.